Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Montana Haven. Today I'm going to be doing a fall planting, a late summer planting for a fall harvest, which I've actually never done. I've only done a spring planting and called it good, probably because I was just tired of gardening and also because um, our season is not quite that long so I'm just gonna see how it turns out and mostly I'm just gonna do lettuce and spinach and stuff like that. I'm going to be doing a Swiss chard and everything is non-GMO or organic. This is arugula and kale and spinach and then I have also different kinds of lettuce that still that I had from the spring planting that I'm gonna plant. And I'm going to try a broccoli and cauliflower, but I don't think it'll make it. I should have started them indoors and had little um, seedlings to start with, but I didn't get the seeds soon enough, so that's what I'm doing. Actually, I think they're coming out, so I might not have enough. Um, they're falling out, and there's not very yeah, many did. seeds in these packets. Mom, yeah, can you pick them up, Avalon? And just put them back in there and I have a couple of the seeds I have soaking like some I have some sugar peas that I'm gonna try and I'm soaking in here it just helps them germinate faster and by the way this place right here had all been full of garlic but we already harvested that and there's a video on that the boys harvested it and uh, and then I went up in the chicken pen and I got a whole bunch of chicken manure. Actually it's like compost. Compost that I spread on the rose that I'm going to plant on and just let it set for a couple days. Watered it down so that it can soak in a little bit to give it a little bit more of a uh, just some nutrients because there already was um, garlic planted in here and it takes a lot of the nutrients so I want it to make the soil rich again. So that's what I'm going to do right now. It's a hot one again. I wanted to come out here earlier but I didn't get it done. So we'll do it now so you can just watch us uh, plant this. Mostly I want spinach and Swiss chard and kale for my smoothies because I've been doing a lot of smoothies and I've been feeling really good on them. Lots of green smoothies. So I just want to have some more and I'm sure these will all do fine. And I also have radishes but you want to plant the radishes even later. In a couple weeks I'll probably plant the radishes because they do very well in cooler weather. So that's what I'll do later. So we'll get busy. Also tonight, we're gonna go pick up a lot of hay down in the valley. Um, put, put up hay for the, for the goats and for our horse that we have. So you can watch us do that too. And I've got some good little helpers here helping me. She does not like the hot weather like I do. I actually enjoy the hot weather, but she's like, oh, it's so hot, mom. <laughs> She likes cold weather actually pretty well. She loves the cold and the snow and she likes it better than I do. Okay, we've got our uh, late summer planting done. So now I want to put on some fertilizer. And we made some, if you've not seen the uh, video that we made about comfrey, comfrey tea fertilizer, uh, I think it's called All About Comfrey, What We Do With It, something like that. I'm not even sure, maybe I can post a picture of it. Um, and so we made it and we let it sit for now over two weeks. So close to three weeks, I think. So we're going to check out this comfrey tea and I wanna put it on my seeds to give it a boost to start growing. And I have heard that, I have heard one person say that you should do one part comfrey tea to three parts water. And then I heard another person say one part to eight parts water. So that's a big difference. So it probably doesn't matter too much it just depends on how rich you want it or how weak you want it. So I don't want it too weak. I want it kind of 
rich. So I think I'm going to go um, one part comfrey tea to four parts water. And this stuff, can you get it up close, Avalon? This stuff is stinky. It smells bad, but I, it's good. Look at all this yucky sludge. So what I do is just kind of get this sludge out of it as much as possible. Then I'll just be able to use the tea. But yeah, it smells like sewer. <laughs> smells bad. And I'll just pop it down there. It's good for the garden. <laughs> yeah, it's stinky. Ah, it's hard to get. I should have something else. You know what I'm going to use? I'm going to use this. See if this works. <laughs> there we go. Some of it. basically out. Now what I'll do is dump some of this in this gallon. And then I'll put it in this five gallon bucket and I'll fill this up with water and we will put it on our garden. saturate my rose with this uh, comfrey tea solution so that it gives the seeds a great head start. You see how this works. I do the hard work of videoing and let my wife do the easy work of gardening. <laughs> 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 I just came home from lunch and uh, volunteered to do hold the camera for her. My wife is awesome. She does all the planting like this and it's just so cool to be able to see what she's doing all the time. It's awesome. <laughs> what you doing, Chloe? <laughs> Got some raspberries on your fingers. <laughs> Let me see you eat it off. Well, I'm all done uh, giving that comfrey tea to my plants and I even gave some to my uh, pepper plants, my tomato plants and different uh, things in my garden. I just used it all up and I'm finally done and I do need a shower but I think I'll wait till tonight because I'm going to get hot and sweaty tonight uh, lifting hay bales. So, but we're going to wait till it cools off just a little bit to do, go and do hay. So I got to go in and do some, clean some bathrooms and start some dinner. We'll have dinner early so that we can go do the hay. We work hard here on the homestead, but it's a good feeling. It's rewarding. Anyways, I wanted to show you these um, pole beans behind me. They're really doing well. They're climbing up the pole. They're going to cover the whole top here soon. And it's going to be nice and shady. Okay guys, I'm going inside. Well, I'm taking the kids fishing. 
and uh, we're going to this creek that is really cold. It literally comes out of uh, a glacier. So we're gonna go and uh, see if we can have some fun with the little, little ones. Hi, Chloe. Well, here we are. There's a couple deep holes in here to go dive off. We're gonna come up here where it's kind of deep right here. Oh, I see there's somebody over there. Well, we're gonna come right through here. We'll swim in here. It's beautiful and clear. Yeehaw! And there they go. Nice and frozen. Ooh, it's a deep hole right there. All right, they're going to jump off. Wow, that is freaky right there. That's like 10 feet or so. I've never it's been years since I jumped off something that tall. If the boys do it, I got to do it, I guess. Good night, we're bucking bales. He's doing a pretty good job. Yeah, he's kind of veering all over the place, but he's doing good. Getting dark. Easy does it, buddy. Now it's getting pretty dark. I got Priscilla bucking bales like a champ. Getting there, we got about a half a load now so far. Wyatt's doing a good job on the tractor. And we're still at it. 
fucking bales in the dark. There's the moon. Well, there they are, sitting on top of the halo. A little fuzzy because he can't focus, but there they sit on the skyline, and there's the moon. Tonight we got this uh, loader up here, and we're taking it up in our barn hayloft. We have Juanita, she's actually our school teacher. She came up here to help us just for fun. And we got over 100 bales on that wagon last night. So I'm lifting it up and we're putting up in the barn up there and Justin and Ethan and Avalon are rolling them back. So I'll do a time lapse and you can see how fast we can get them up there, I guess.